These are indigents of the southern part of Kaduna State protesting the incessant attacks on several communities in their area by suspected herdsmen in defiance of the order by the local government chairman imposing a 24-hour curfew on the town. The protesters comprising youth and women marched on the major streets of Kafanchan, the headquarters of Jema local government area, accompanied by security agents. In his reaction, the caretaker chairman of the council insists that government is doing its best to bring the violence to an end. In the security challenges in the local government that we've been trying to manage all this while and the undergoing tension and what have you. So everybody that is in census will know that it's not the best time to stage whatever protests and what they, or, 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 no matter how we want to call it. And immediately I called them to put that into a hold. That was yesterday. And guess the parties are involved, call them to order. And I think the DPO was engaged with them all through, where he gave them every reason not to stage a protest like this, because in the end, it will result in this tension that we are experiencing at the moment. And according to them, everything was discussed. It was an agreement was reached where a protest was not going to be staged. They call it peaceful protest, but we know. Any other devil can hide under the name of peaceful protests and execute whatever agenda he has. And for you that have, uh, that have witnessed what has happened, you know that it has political motivation. Because I wonder why people that are calling, uh, that, 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 that said they are conducting a peaceful protest, will carry out political slogans and what have you, and make an attempt to even destroy properties. We want the government to come out and act on this urgently. And that's why the youth came out this morning to demonstrate a peaceful rally in order to, to contest the killings of innocent people in our villages. Go to our farmlands. The, the crops there, they destroyed everything and people are not harvesting their crops.